and Jerry Lewis. Presented by the Colgate Palmolive Pete Company, makers of Halo Shampoo to glorify your hair. And Ajax, the foaming action cleanser. by Dick Stabile, written by Ed Simmons and Norman Lear, choreography by Fosse and Niles, settings by Theodore Cooper, NBC production supervisor Sam Fuller, television director Kingman Seymour, produced and directed by Ernest D. Glutzman. Cure the Common Cold Committee. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you here tonight. As you know, our organization has been active for the past years with but one purpose in mind, to find a cure for that scourge of mankind, the Common Cold. Friends, this is our success meeting. The cure for the Common Cold has been found. <laughs> The cure was discovered by two young men from the University of Vienna, and they are here with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the men who have completely outwitted medical science in the discovery of the cure for the common cold, Professors Martin and Lewis. <laughs> I know you're all anxious to meet these boys, these two young gentlemen, and here they are. Well, we were standing in here. You the... know, it didn't look for a while like they were going to get here. I want to happen in some time. We were very nervous about the whole thing. We were sitting in the air. I'm glad and... to see that they finally arrived. I say that the last year... You know, not... their being here reminds me of a story. Well, we don't want to hear no I was we... in Vienna myself about 20 years ago. When I was in Vienna, I said... And I was with another group of doctors at the time, you see. Yeah. Well, we, we and a funny to... thing happens. <laughs> well, I'm no more noisy. Thank you very much, Fritz. <laughs> we are thicker this way. When the cold strikes a human being... <laughs> Enough to make someone sick. Is it right, Fred? That's the right, huh? <laughs> we sit in the laboratory night and day, night and day, night and day. You were the one. Heck, he's All right, the Fred. I mean, all right, Fred. <laughs> so we figured it, Fred. You got the vial with you, the death tube? I got what? You got the test tube so we can show them what we have accomplished in our work that took us years and years and years. Yes, the boy. Thanks. In this test tube, we have 337,000 cold germs. Oh, that's a lot of germs, kid. That's a lot of germs, kid. When we discovered the cure for the germ, we didn't ever... Oh, don't get it. Don't get it. Every time I 
were on a Colgate show. We always start off like this, and you gotta louse me up. Why do you do this to me? Well, I didn't want to be. Ah, shut up. Let me say a couple words, will you? Go well, ahead, say anything you want. All I know is I didn't want any part of that. You had a whole brilliant idea. Don't argue with me, because I don't want to have no part of no arguments. I don't want any part of arguments. Just introduce my song. Okay, Shirley? Okay, Selma. <laughs> Don't you ever see anything like that? He makes me do those things, and then I always get all the blame for it. That's not fair. Do you think? We have a show tonight that we figure is probably one of the finest things that's ever happened on television. Now, I know what I'm talking about, because I've been in this business close to ooh, a week. <laughs> and you... Oh, and you'd be... Some, would you excuse me? No, I was talking to him, and uh, I just thought... No, would you mind excusing us for a minute? Because I was telling... No, if you don't mind, I was... Well, I don't know which camera is on, and... Oh, there you are, up there. How are you? Why don't you get out of here? You're drunk, both of you. <laughs> Look the way they follow. You can't do what I'm doing. what I'm doing at home. <laughs> but uh, seriously, ladies and gentlemen, we're very, very happy to have you folks here tonight because we have a show that we think is one of the slowest moving things you've ever seen. <laughs> the reason I'm laughing is because I ad-libbed it and I didn't know it was going to be funny. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> I would like to... There. I would like to... Don't you take my picture without any permission from me at any time. <laughs> I walked out of the cameras and they're not allowed to turn it around to the audience, so they were all saying, eh. <laughs> I would like to introduce my partner, ladies and gentlemen, who's going to sing one of the most beautiful tunes of the entire year entitled. <laughs> What's he gonna sing, Dick? Would I love you? If you like, I don't mind. I... <laughs> I'll be all right. And uh, he does Would I Love You from that wonderful picture, Lassie Bites Irma. Use Ajax. Boom, boom. Colgate's new Ajax cleans your kitchen sink far brighter with half the effort. Use Ajax, boom, boom. the foaming cleanser. Boom, 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 boom. Gets things clean just like a whiz. Boom, 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 boom. You'll stop paying the elbow tax when you start cleaning with Ajax. So use Ajax, boom, boom. the foaming cleanser. Boom, 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 boom. Floats the dirt right down the drain. Boom, 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 boom. Ajax leaves no gritty cleanser scum in top or sink. So use Ajax, boom, boom. the foaming cleanser. Boom, 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 boom. Get things clean just like a whiz. Boom, 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 boom. Ajax, the new scouring cleanser, foams as it cleans. Ajax cuts grease faster than any other leading cleanser. Ajax polishes with half the effort. Mmm, and it smells good, too. So use Ajax. Ajax polishes as it cleans. It leaves no gritty cleanser scum. It cuts grease in a jiffy. And it has a pleasant fragrance. Get Ajax for your bathroom. A can for the kitchen, too. Ajax, the foaming cleanser. <laughs> Good morning, Stan. Well, good morning, Mr. Nyman. Say, it's a beautiful day for golf, isn't it? Oh, beautiful day for golf. Is my caddy ready? Yes, yes, yes. All ready and waiting. Caddy! Mr. Nyman. Oh, good morning, Mr. Nyman. Good morning, young man. Are we all set? Everything's all ready, sir. Well, let's be off, yes. Uh, lots of luck to you, Mr. Nyman. Good game. Well, hello, Stanley. Well, Martin. How Mr. you been? Martin. Good, good to see, good to see you. you. Where in the world have you been? Oh, I've been in court. Oh. 
about, you know. I, you got a caddy around here for yes, me? Yes, yes, Mr. Bud. We have a caddy somewhere. Caddy! Hope it's a good caddy. Oh, yes. I like good caddies. <laughs> I take my full swing, and it yeah. seems that, that my hand slips. Oh, no, it, it, it shouldn't be interrupting there, uh, buddy, but you see, you've got to keep this arm up there at all times, because in order to get that clear swing, you've got to keep moving out. Keep that arm stiff. His swing bent to be clear line. He's not well. And uh, you just swing complete through, keep the eye on the ball, follow it through, and then swing it around. Get away from me. I'm just trying to help. The, you just tore up all the bread. <laughs> Martin's bag. Shut Let up a minute. Come on. <laughs> Let my partner Ed live. It's not real grass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get the bag. Oh, oh, you want your bag? All right, I'll go get it. <laughs> now, as I was saying, Stanley, yes, you see, yes, this yes. grip, it slips, too. Yes. I want some rubber put around here so that I can hold the grip. <laughs> It's a Dunlop Max fly. A Dunlop Max fly? They're hard. Good to heavens, make. we might as well find it. <laughs> you sure you hit it? Sure I hit it. <laughs> Did you hide it or hit it? I hit it. See, I used the word hide and hit at the same time. Get out of here. All righty. <laughs> hey, there it is. Why, you thief, you. That's my ball. Here's your ball, Mr. Morton. That's not my ball. Why, was yours tan? That's my ball. Give me that. I ought to poke you right you in the nose. Keep away from me, buddy. He's probably a cheap tipper. That's what he is. No fun at Tuesday. I know that I love hey. him. Hey, drop my caddy. Come on, let me have the seven iron. The seven iron? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A seven iron. Here, baby. Here, baby. Here, sweetheart. Come on, darling. <laughs> 
Come here, sister. Come here, doggy. Here, baby, you're lost enough to sketch. Come here. <laughs> And we're known for honesty, for the heart and soul of a dignified man to go on through life doing the honest thing. Never to cheat, never to do the wrong thing. And I certainly won't be any part of any fraud that you want to be any part of. <laughs> All right, I'll admit, I cheated a wee bit. Yes, sir. Give me four. That's different. Okay. Hello, darling. Hello, Hello. where you been? I thought I'd find you out here. <laughs> In the sand trap again. <laughs> He's in the trap again. Well, oh, I. Oh, sure, yeah. This man. Oh, this is Melvin. This is Phyllis. Hello, Melvin. Hello. Melvin. <laughs> what is this bit? What do you call this? You met me. You said Melvin. Melvin. <laughs> and then she says, hello, Mel Melvin. <laughs> now, I just. What if I said, hello, Phyllis? Phyllis. <laughs> What's wrong with my name? Melvin, M-E-L-V-I. Melvin, N-E. Melvin? <laughs> Get off of this truck. I'm not getting off. I work here. Get out of here. Oh, darling, darling, I'll give you some of this. Stop it. He's just a young boy. I don't yeah, want you to what? be cross with him. He's a young boy. You want to bet? Now, supposing he'd like to play golf, did you ever think of that? Yes, Come sir. on, Melvin, I'll show you how, honey. Get your hands off me, lady. I don't even know you. <laughs> uh, Phyllis, this is Melvin. Melvin? <laughs> well, all right, you show me how you'd hit a ball. I know how to hit a ball, lady. Well, show me. Yourself, buddy. I didn't touch you, Buster. I'm warning you. I didn't touch you, Buster. Somebody's knocking the devil out of me. <laughs> now, why don't you stop? You don't know how to play golf. I want to show you a good trick. You remember William Tell? Sure, he used to play with Duke Ellington, didn't he? No. <laughs> no. William Tell happened to shoot an apple off of somebody's head. You're kidding. No, I'm Italian. What's a lot? <laughs> so I figure I'll do a trick, you see? I'm gonna shoot a golf ball off of your head. Well, goodbye. Here we go. Oh, darling, you, you think you sure? I, it's in the script. I know oh, what I'm doing. Lay down here. Yeah, but I don't think you know what you're doing, sir. I know what I'm doing, sir. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not sure, sir. Yeah, here, now, you hold right. I'll just tee it up right here. You hold it there. That is now, I'll get my driver out. I'm I very scared. I don't mind telling you. Oh, you do. There's one of my better tricks. 
All right, now. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> Give me my ball. <laughs> Give me my ball, Melvin. You didn't mind it? No, I enjoyed that very much. Wanna play some more? I got a little punch in, but that was fun. I like to swing that ball. I get out there the open board. Never have a hard boy. Swing that ball. Hit my head. No one else will have a boy. Never had a roll. Hey, Melvin, you better get out of here. 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 It's not very pretty, is it? A dirty, greasy frying pan, crusted with burned bits of fried liver. And it's not at all easy to clean, either, unless you do it with Ajax, the foaming cleanser. Because Ajax cleans your pots and pans twice as easy and twice as fast as any other leading cleanser. Just watch. I shake Ajax in just a little. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Those foaming action suds go right to work, lifting grease and dirt in a jiffy. <laughs> Floating it right down the drain. <laughs> ah, your pan shines like a bright new penny. And there are many other things you'll like about Ajax. It polishes as it cleans. It leaves no gritty cleanser scum. It's kind to your hands. And it has a wonderful fragrance. Get two cans of Ajax. One to use in the kitchen, and one for the bathroom, too. Ajax, the foaming cleanser. I'm tired. Whew. Ladies and gentlemen, Dean and I are very, very proud to say that we introduced two young people on our show on February the 4th that did such a magnificent job that we had to ask them to come back. We pay them. So, they're very wonderful performers. We'd like you to see this very wonderful number they're about to do. Bob Fosse, choreograph, choreograph them. He showed them how to do it, and, uh, <laughs> very lovely cohort, Miss Marion Isles, we show you the very beautiful conception of their premise of a word entitled, You've Never Loved, But Still in All, Well... <laughs> Loud in the library. Do you have to chew that loud? I paid a penny and I'm going to get my pennies worth, sir.
sure sh me I run this library. Is it a civil service job? Yes. Well, let's be a little more civil. <laughs> Now, what is, what can I do for you? Oh, I don't know. I just stand here, and I want to return some of these books. Why? What's wrong with them? Oh, there's nothing wrong with them, sir. I just finished them using them, and I don't want them no more. All right, let me have it. All righty. Come on, come on. Birdie, do the wheel. Hoodlo, scoody, do, lo, do. Oh, scoody, do, lo, do, do. Scoody, ow, do, do, do. Bodio do do do. Bodio do do do. Do 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 do. Bodio do 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 do. Bodio do 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 do. Do 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 Oh, no, sir. I just use these to build tunnels for my electric train. Get away from me. <laughs> what is that? This is for our weenie roast down at the annual Y Dad Sunday. All right. Give me your card. Give me your card, will you, buddy? I must have left my card home. I don't care where you must have left it. Give me the card. I don't got it. You don't got it. What kind of English is this? I don't got it. That's as bad as up the street. The soldiers, they're coming down. We're gonna talk English. Let's talk advice, Buster. What do you want from me? All I know is I ain't got a card. What do you want? Well, get a card. Maybe I can borrow my friend Herbie. Go ahead, borrow Herbie. I'll call Herbie. Where's Herbie live? Oh, just about a mile from here. All right, call him. Herbie! <laughs> <laughs> the operator's name is Herbie. <laughs> now, come on, Melvin. Get... Melvin. No, that's the other thing. Oh. Hello, operator. Would you please be good enough to get me Academy 72467? 2467127132919841721111111111113239 <laughs> Seven two six six five four 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 two nine three 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 six two nine eight. Harry, the number has been changed to Academy Three. One six five eight four seven three six five seven eight nine five four six eight eight. Above all. Above all. Keep those people quiet. Yes, sir. You are now in charge. <laughs> all right. Let's keep it quiet in it. <laughs> we don't want people standing talking and making noise. Because we're running a library here. Shut up! <laughs> no coughing in the library. Let's keep it quiet. 
everybody. Let's keep it quiet, buddy. No talking in the library, buddy. Slide 
Friday. No, I can't. I can't move. I can't move. Can't move. Can't I can't move. move. You positive? I'm sure I can't move. You sure you can't move? Yeah, I'm stuck. Come here. Yes, what do you want? <laughs> Go and see if you can get some other books for okay. this boy. <laughs> Good night, Humphrey. No. Well, what are you going to do? Nothing, I can't move. You positive you can't move? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Halo presents a lonely lady of the sea and a lovely lady of the islands, Miss Norma Calderon of the musical hit, South Pacific. Halo, everybody, halo. Halo Shampoo presents the inside story of the lonesome mermaid. What can I do about my hair? It's so dull and stringy looking, the sailors never whistle at me anymore. And for a mermaid, that's serious. Look, Toots, here's the answer to your problem. Use Halo Shampoo. Soaping dulls hair. Halo glorifies it. Halo means natural beauty. The first time that you use it, you need no special rinsing after you use it. So Halo, everybody, Halo. Halo Shampoo, Halo. <whistles> Halo, everybody, Halo. Halo is the shampoo that glorifies your hair. So Halo Shampoo, Halo. Remember, Halo leaves hair fragrant, dandruff-free, and wonderfully easy to manage, because Halo's not a soap or an oily cream. So Halo, everybody, Halo. Halo Shampoo, Halo. Halo Shampoo, Halo. Remember this about shampoos. Soaping dulls hair, but Halo glorifies it. Halo, made with a patented ingredient, needs no special rinse and leaves hair wonderfully easy to manage. Next time, try Halo, America's favorite shampoo. So, Halo, everybody, Halo. Halo is the shampoo that glorifies your hair. So, Halo, everybody, Halo. Halo, shampoo, Halo. Thank you very much. You're very kind, ladies and gentlemen. We'd like to say right about here, you know, Dean has a beautiful production number at the beginning of every show with girls and everything. So I went to the network. I said, why can't I do a number two? So they said, okay, you'll do it. But they didn't give me girls. They gave me fellas I should use. So I got to do the number. Come on out, fellas. You know, it feels funny. Dean uses girls, pretty girls to work with. It's nice. So I got fellas. So just to make me feel better, you'll be Selma, Audrey, Miriam, and Phyllis. All right? They'll be girls, meanwhile. This is a number that I had the good fortune of recording for Capitol Records, and it's my conception of a tune called Never Been Kissed, and I'm going to sing it for you now. Oh, I know a gal who's a treat to the eye. The boys always whistle when she passes by. She's out every night, not a night has she missed. And her mother says that she's never been kissed. What? Yeah. Never been kissed. Never been kissed. It's hard to believe that she's never been kissed. One night she went out for a row on the lake. The guy she was with dropped the oars by mistake. They drifted for hours before they were missed. But she still insists that she's never been kissed. What? She's a liar. Never been kissed. Never been kissed. It's hard to believe that she's never been kissed. Oh, well, the young man took a liking to her. He gave her some presents of jewelry and fur, including a diamond as big as your fist. Yet she'll take an oath that she's never been kissed. What? <laughs> never been kissed. Never been kissed. It's hard to believe that she's never been kissed. Now 
world, there's a new book they're all talking about. Call Lessons in Love, you have read it, no doubt. I hear that it just made the bestseller list. Well, it's written by her, and she's never been kissed. That's a lot of hooey, hooey, the hooey, the hooey, the hooey. Never been the best catch in town by the way and said to the girl that she threw her bouquet just keep the boys guessing and always insist that you are a girl who has never been kissed what? <laughs> never been kissed never been kissed it's hard to believe that she's never been kissed the end of this story is sad, and here's why. I saw her today with a tear in her eye. I asked her the reason why she was so blue, and the answer she gave me, I'll pass on to you. What? Listen, never been kissed, never been kissed. She married a man who has never been kissed. We're so very happy that you will appear at the Italian Welfare Night of Stars at the Chicago Stadium, May the 12th. Thank you, Frank Annunzio and Johnny Kentucky. Oh, well, yeah. we're, we're going to be say, here. We're going to be here in Chicago for this wonderful affair. Hey, 12. And we'd like you to know that. That's enough. Enough. Don't try and make up. Let's show them. Let's show them that we can also play instruments. We're going to play the number for you. What is it? What are you doing here? What do you want? Two minutes? See what he's giving us here? Get out of here. Get out. Get out. You know, we don't mind having you tell us how much time there is, but don't get in the act, buddy. <laughs> we'll play for you the beautiful and thrilling Seder dance. Yeah. Happy New Year! any coal there. C'è la luna e mezzo mare, mamma mia, se non mai da me. E mi già mi è di giocare, se me non pensi a mare te. C'è la luna e mezzo mare, mamma mia, di mare d'ari. Vira, vira, coi da dare, mamma mia, c'è per giù di. other numbers for you, but unfortunately we're running late, so with the playing of the theme on behalf of Dean and myself, we'd like to remind you that next week, Mr. Phil Silvers will appear on the Colgate Comedy Hour. Dean and I will be his guests. We're going to have a lot of fun. We'd like you to tune in. So we'd like to thank the entire show, Kingman Moore in the booth, Ernest Cluxman, our producer, Ed Simmons and Norman Lear, our writers. Of course, I want to thank my partner, because without him, what's the sense? <laughs> and I want to thank you also. Don't forget next week with Mr. Phil Silvers, a great comedian. We'll be with you. Thank you so much. You've been wonderful. Good night Good and night. God bless. The Foaming Action Cleanser.
Colgate Comedy Hour. And on hand to welcome him as special guests will be Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis and Vivian Blaine. Then the next week, Beatrice Lilly again will star on the Comedy Hour. The following week, Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis will be back once again on the Colgate Comedy Hour. And four weeks from tonight, Eddie Cantor will return. And now, good night for the Colgate Comedy Hour, which has been presented by the Colgate Carmel and Peak Company, makers of quality products since 1806.